Assalamu alaikum and hi, my name is Muhammad Nasir. I'm going to share with you about my organization, the National Water Services Commission, or better known by its acronym as SPAN. SPAN is a statutory body established in 2007 to regulate the water supply sewerage services industry by enforcing the Water Services Industry Act, which is the Act 655, that covers in Peninsular Malaysia, Federal Territory of Kuala Lumpur, Labuan, and Putrajaya. The main roles of SPAN are to ensure sustainability of water supply, satisfactory of water supply sewerage services delivery, as well as the protection of consumers' interests. In order to achieve this, SPAN regulates all entities that involving in water supply and sewerage services industry. These include public water supply and sewerage operators, private water supply and sewerage operators, contractors, consultants, plumbers, manufacturers, and suppliers. A satellite model is introduced to address the huge investments required to develop the water supply infrastructure, as well as the unsustainable tariffs. Pengurusan Asset I Berhad, or PAAB, a water asset management company fully owned by the Ministry of Finance, was formed to take over the liabilities of the respective water operators. The respective state government will transfer the water assets to the PAAB for a period of 30 to 45 years, and the states will then only have to pay lease rental to the PAAB. The purpose of such financial arrangement is to enable the operators to focus only on providing services to the people without having to be burdened by the issue of funding on capital works. Under the licensing regime, the water and sewerage operators will have to adhere to a set of regulatory key performance indicators, the KPI, as a measure of their operating efficiency, water quality, technical standards, and financial targets. Once this KPI is fully implemented, submitting operational performance information to SPAN will no longer be voluntary but mandated by the law. Let me share you the achievements that we have attained so far through our, our regulatory journey. As of 31st December 2019, a total of eight states, namely Malacca, Negeri Sembilan, Johor, Perlis, Penang, Perak, Kelantan and Selangor, have signed the Asset Transfer Agreement with the PAAB and finalized their restructuring. In total, 11 water operators from 12 states have migrated to the licensing regime under the Water Services Industry Act 2006. The operator of Federal Territory of Labuan, which is the remaining operator that has yet to migrate, as per the law, Labuan has been given authorization to operate. Tariff setting mechanism has been developed with the objective of moving towards full cost recovery of the water services industry. It is also to ensure the consumers are charged with fair and reasonable tariffs. Tariff revision is proposed especially to the states have not yet reviewed their tariff more than 20 years, such as Trangganu and Pahang. The revision of tariff will enable the operators to have more capital to increase the service quality and to operate more efficiently on maintenance, upgrading, and customer satisfaction. In 2019, the average coverage of water supply services in Peninsula Malaysia and Labuan was at 96.8%. Coverage at urban areas and rural areas were at 96.8% and 96.7% respectively. A total of 328 
treatment plants produce 14 billion liters of treated water daily. As of 2019, there were 7,114 public sewage treatment systems and 4,119 private sewage treatment systems servicing 31.4 million population equivalent in Malaysia. There were 1,272 network pumping stations, 102 regional sewage treatment plants with a total sewage system network of 20,000 225 kilometers. Reducing the non-revenue water, the NRW remains a core challenge that requires continuous effort. SPAN has set the reduction of NRW as one of the key performance indicators, the KPI that every water operator must adhere to. The overall rate of NRW for Peninsular Malaysia and Federal Territory of Labuan declined from 33.9% in 2018 to 33.1% in 2019. NRW is made up of physical and commercial losses. Physical losses contributed 70% to 75% of the overall NRW rate. The federal government has allocated 1.9 billion ringgit to assist water operators to implement NRW programs to reduce the rate. The Sewerage Capital Contribution Fund set up in 2011 recorded a total collection of 2.5 billion ringgit as of 31st December 2019. SPAN has approved 45 projects worth 630 million ringgit between 2012 and 2019 to upgrade storage infrastructures. Enforcement activities in 2019 recorded a clear spike thanks to the efforts of SPAN officers in enforcing provisions in Act 655 and the cooperation provided by operators in reporting the violation cases. From 2008 to 2019, a total of 769 investigation papers were opened, including 71 additional investigation papers initiated in 2019 alone. Investigation were carried out on several offenses, including water theft, metering, tampering, failure to possess a valid license or permit. Out of these cases, 87 cases were resolved successfully with sentencing on the responsible parties. In view of the continuous threats to the water sources, SPAN also worked with the Ministry of Environment and Water to propose amendments to WCR 2006 so that we can further improve the law. Jom, jima'ai. Thank you.